Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I'm going to take attendance using Google Forms. First thing I'm going to do is sign into my Google account. Okay, now that I'm signing into my Google account, I'm going to go to my Google Drive. Once in Google Drive, I'm going to create a form. So I'm going to say Create Form. And I'm going to title my form Oops. Let's go here. High Forward Attendance. Okay. My first question is going to be What course is this for? And I'm going to make it a drop down or choose from list. Courses I'm teaching are chemistry and physical science and it's going to be required I'm going to say done. I'm going to add an item. I'm going to make it text. I'm going to say uh, last name. Make it required. Say done. I'm going to duplicate this one now, so I'm just going to go duplicate. I'm going to say first name. Say done. And I'm going to say um, state two topics from the lesson. Make that required. And I'm going to say, um, what is the code word? And I'm going to say done. And I can add some other things. Maybe up here I want to add an item and I want to say um, something like, uh, what is the original date of this lesson? Okay, try to make them do some note keeping here for me. And I'm going to say done. I can move this up so it's underneath their name. I can now change the theme by going up here. And I'm going to just say, here's my theme right there. I'm going to go with books. I'm going to choose my response destination, which is going to be a spreadsheet. So I'm going to create. Okay. And I'm going to view my live form. This is how I share the form with my students. I copy the URL. And then when I am teaching, I'm going to paste that URL into the chat window or on the screen. And then they'll click it and they'll fill in this information real quickly, kind of as my ticket out the door. And then if they are absent or they watch the recording, and what they will do is the same thing. They'll come in, they'll give me their ticket out the door, and then I'll be done. So, for example, I can say uh, chemistry, and I can say Spurl, Ray. Uh, what's the original date? I can say 8-28-2013. And I can say state two topics from chemistry. It was intro to the teacher. And class walkthrough. And the code word is electrons. And then we'll say submit. And so um, I can submit another response. I can change that if I want. And so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to make this title my I forward. Um, Attendance records. I'm going to click OK. All right, and then I can view responses. And so here are my responses. They are time stamped. They are in a spreadsheet. And so now I have the date of the lesson, what it was about, their summary, and now all I have to do is I can download this as an Excel file. And I can send it off to Billy so that he can, uh, or Susie, so they can keep it for their records. 
Okay, and it's putting it into the hands, it's making uh, the students take responsibility for their attendance, as well as using it as a their ticket out the door each day so that they can demonstrate that they were paying attention and listening. Um, I can share it with people. Uh, after I've done this uh, one time, I can uh, go to my Google Drive and I can uh, make a duplicate of it. Okay, so I could copy this. So if I wanted to make a second copy for my next class, if I want to do it that way, that'd be fine. Or um, I can do it by week. I can make a second. If I want a second form, I would just go here and I'd go make a copy. And now I could give it a new title of attendance. I could say I forward attendance records. And I could say um, week of nine slash three. I say OK, and then now I've got the exact same form, but it's got a different week, and now I have to share this new one. That's the week of 9-3. I have to go to the live form. Now i got a new URL, and that's the one that I would share with students. So I can do it that way, or I can do my own separating in my spreadsheet um, if I wanted to. So I can do my own separating of information here in my spreadsheet. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me know if you have any questions.